So hi, I'm back again. So I've been cutting up my, my digital papers. Um, this is 21 by 11 and a half. I've made some little inserts for it to be, you know, the, the little folders to open up to Constantina. Now these are, they're doubled. They're just old book pages. So they're nine. So just roughly, I need to fold up my page to nine. If it's a little bit over, you can trim it. That's no problem at all. I wasn't sure whether I wanted my pumpkins upside down, but hey ho, they're upside down. So what you do here is you just fold a little bit of the paper at the top over and it just strengthens that edge because obviously if you're going to be putting things in these little pouches in your digital um, journals or scrap journals or junk journals whatever they need to be a little So I'm using Craft Glitter Glue. It's one of the ones that, oops, sticks quite quick. And it's got a tiny nozzle so you can direct the, the line of glue where you want it. And then we've got the fold here. So it's just a straight line. And I cannot glue in a straight line. I don't know how many people can, but it's virtually impossible. And then just fold that. And there we are. Remove any glue off your table. And then you've got whoop, one pouch. We have to let the, the glue grip first before we start trying to open pouches. So I'm just going to do this one. So again, just turn it over, I'd say probably about half a centimetre. There's no rules, use your own. If you don't want to fold it over, you can use washi tape. You can add another piece of paper and fold it round. Um, if you don't want the, the boot page, you don't even have to use boot pages. You can use anything. So I've got stick that one down and this one down Oop, that looks a bit wonky but never mind just ever so slightly right so what we do here is we need to stick that well we need to stick it first but it needs to go in that way Again, a straight line up the sides. We need to glue the sides. I'm getting ahead of myself there. And then the side here. This one needs to be glued into the side of the, the envelope. So make sure your opening is at the top, put your fold to your fold on the paper and just press it down and leave it to grip. Now this one, is we need to put, you, you can measure it, I'm going by eye. You just want a middle section and glue the middle section. I'm just rubbing that over with my finger. And make sure that your opening is at the top. And then lay that right on top like that and glue it down. 
and then again this side needs to when we fold the the envelope folder whatever you want to call it I've seen these done a few times on YouTube um, but I've never actually made them so this is a, a first for me I just thought they looked quite dinky for using in journals and as I'm making a, an, a, an autumn journal for a gift um, I thought I'd make a couple now what we need to do is we need to fold this over now you don't want it folding right over there you need to leave a space so just you can see it's a bit off but don't worry about that because we can trim that up and neaten it up with either your cutter or a pair of scissors. I probably should use a, my cutter because I'm not the straightest of cutters using scissors. So when the glue sticks, after, and then you've got a nifty little envelope. See that the, the glue hasn't grabbed yet, so it's opening. And what I want to do is I want to give these the flap rounded corners and that's just a corner rounder now this I'm not I'm not liking the the white um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it a bit so I'm using tea dye distressing And it just makes it look a little bit oldy, oldy worldy. And the, the crease. And if I'd have thought about it, I would have done the the paper, just smooshing the edges with distressing, just to make it look. Now this can either be stuck into a page on your journal or you can put it into a pocket. I think preferably I'm going to put this one into a pocket so cut that off. I'm not really wanting because I quite like that. That's my old Italian ephemera. Now we've got these leaves here. Now what are we going to do with the leaves? So I'm just going to decorate the front. Some of them have stuck a little bit. So what you do is you just play about um, and just place them on the folder. until you get something that you like so that doesn't look like an autumn leaf to me that looks like something that belongs in the ocean <laughs> well maybe he's got my leaves mixed up a bit so i think i'll do it like that so we'll put this one down so again at glitter glue it's not for glitter it's just that's the name of it but it's really good um it's quite expensive there are several glues you can use um but obviously you're not wanting uh like glues with a lot of water in because it wrinkles your papers um you want them to to grip 
quite quickly. And then I've got some labels here. Um, this is all part of the the kit so I think we'll have leaves now some people like to um, have like a stamp effect so if you have a pair of I'm a hairdresser to trade so I have these I don't use them on people anymore these are no old but if you want like a stamp and you get the serrated edge. If you put the blade on the top, it's not so much of a serrated edge. If you put the comb on the top, you get more of a stamped edge. So I think that's what we'll do. And then you end up with little bits all over that you carry into the rest of the house because they fall on the floor and stick on your feet. And again, we'll just ink that up at the edges. Now, where are we going to have this? Are we going to have this up here or down here or across? I think across the, the stalk of that leaf. So there we are. So that's that done. So now we've got a little folder for putting little bits and pieces in your, in your journal. What I'm going to do is put the rest of these leaves so I don't lose them in there for the rest of my journal. So thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me again. Thank you. Bye.